I'm Jordan Morris and this is KLOL, the Internet's local news. Today's top story is Facebook. A report released last week claims that 80% of the clicks on Facebook ads are by bots. And now with a statement, Facebook ad clicking bot. Bleep, blorp, I am interested in local events, bleep. Well, sure, I'd like to check out Chili's new awesome blossom sandwich, but what I'd really like is a microchip sandwich. Bleep, bleep, bloop. Hot Roombas in my area? Hubba, bleep, blorp, hubba. Cool. Mitt Romney has released a smartphone app that'll tell users as soon as he chooses his VP nominee. The app is the third most popular conservative app after birth certificates with friends and angry racists. I wonder what the fourth most popular app is amongst conservatives. Oh. Grinder. According to a study released earlier this year, Facebook is actually making people less happy. Here with a report is Eliza Skinner. Hey, Jordan. Hey, uh, are you okay? No. And I'm here to tell you about it in my new segment, Who's Making Me Feel Bad on Facebook? Facebook is meant to be a site for staying in contact with friends and acquaintances, not for shoving pictures of your perfect life down my throat all the time, Allison Rodden. Like, I get it. You have a lot of friends and you like to camp and jet ski. Cool. I have a goddamn job and a cat that doesn't like me. No one wants to see those photos on Facebook. Ugh, look at this. She just finished Infinite Jest. Good for you, Allison. I only read magazines and only on the toilet. Oh, and this bitch, Jeannie Glass. Was the party fun, huh? Was it, Jeannie? It sure looks fun from your eight million photos. I wouldn't know you didn't invite me. So I spent the weekend trying to make a dress out of an old t-shirt. Didn't work. Ugh, who likes West Elm? That's like saying you enjoy chewing on money. What an asshole. Oh, and the f-ing babies. Everybody just put your goddamn babies away. Just because your baby looks cute in a hat doesn't mean it doesn't make me feel shitty about my cold tacos for dinner. Uh, it sounds like you're taking other people's Facebook pages very personally. Well, it feels personal. I mean, doesn't anything bad happen to anyone else? Is that just me? Of course not, but that's not what you're supposed to put on your Facebook wall. I only post professional photos of myself laughing at parties. Oh, and you're like the saddest person I know. Oh, big time. Barely hanging on. Oh, okay. I, I, I actually feel much better now. But still, f*** those assholes. Eliza Skinner, full of useless rage. A new service was released this week called Unbaby Me. The plug-in will replace any pictures of babies on your timeline with cats. And now with a response, the chairperson of the conservative group focus on Facebook family. We are ripping babies from the womb of the internet. Every baby photo has the right to be seen by every person on the internet. Sure, maybe you think you're not ready to see a picture of a baby, but God put it on Facebook for a reason. And by God, I mean that weird girl, Leslie, from Youth Group. Gotta run. Grinder. YouTube recently added its 24-hour live streaming animal cam, the Corgi Cam, a camera focused on a new litter of Corgi puppies. Let's take a look. Not to be outdone by the Corgi Cam, we're introducing our own live stream, the Hoagie Cam. Oh, look at them. Look at those little guys. Oh, (laughs) look at his little face. Oh, never grow up. I never want them to grow up. (laughs) Videos of LARPers or live action role players are always big on the internet. Sure, they can wear chain mail and cast spells, but can they fall in love? Our parent company, Cheeseburger, investigates. What's your best pickup line? Hey, do you come here a lot? I'm a girl. And? Usually pointing out my gender is enough. Where do you take someone on a first date? Well, I guess I've gone on lots of dates during LARPs. Uh, I've, I've gone on a lot of dates under bridges in that case. So you're out in the real world and you see someone. How do you know if they LARP? battle scars, which are are actually uh, nerf burns from the fun noodles that that actually abraze your skin in the very slightest of ways. What gives you a boner? Elves. Who does it better? Elves, trolls, or mages? Elves. Mages is a class. You give me two races and a class. You can't do that. You can say, 
Elves, dwarves, or orcs. Orcs would be like the most passionate lovers, but they probably cut your head off at the end. How do you know when is the right time to kiss someone? I guess when the eye contact becomes too long and uncomfortable. Because when you kiss, you close your eyes. So when you want to not look in their eyes anymore. If you could give me one piece of dating advice, what would it be? I'd say uh, the way you're dressed is a big turnoff. I think also your ears are on the small side. Well, I think that answers everybody's questions about everything forever. Until next week, that's it from us. We now leave you with this montage of Bathroom Mirror Facebook pics. Hot Roombas in my area? Hubba bleep blorp hubba. Yes. You are interested in DTF. I don't know what DTF is. You're interested. Again, because it's that habit, because it doesn't itch a fidget, and I'm switching my position to my wedges on my left butt cheek. Piss, because I know my stupid phone is going to ring again, and I want to. Haven't we all, at some point in the evening, settled for a bag of crack? <laughs>